Okay, thank you very much. My name is uh, Malasa. Uh, in the previous uh, tutorial, I have already uh, shown you the definition of uh, the seismic load pattern uh, using it up to 2060 uh, as per the Ethiopian Building Code of Standard and the European Code of Standard. Uh, so uh, uh, today we will be focusing on the definition of response a spectrum of this uh, TOD story building as per the Ethiopian Building Code of Standard and the European Code of Standard. So, uh, if you want to get new updates of this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe my channel. And also, if you like my video, don't forget sharing uh, to your friends so that your friends will be getting new updates of the remaining tutorial of this journey story building and also if you have questions regarding to the structure design of reinforced concrete structure as well as the steel structure don't hesitate to provide me comments in my comment box so that i will try to answer all your questions which is regarding to the structural design of buildings and steel structures so in order to get an immediate update to the tutorials so or you need to press the bell icon okay now let's proceed to the today's tutorial which will be focusing on definition of response spectrum uh, of this journey story building which is the tutorial part nine okay now let's start so in order to begin uh, the uh, definition of response spectra now let me say something regarding it to a response spectra what is a response spectra so here response spectra is you know response response spectra response spectra is it is nothing but this is the determination of the peak or the maximum response of the structure when the uh, dynamic load or the seismic load is applied to the structure. So in order to uh, 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 in order to show the responses of the, uh, the structure against the seismic action, we need to uh, use the response spectrum curve here. Suppose uh, if this is the type period T, and this is uh, you know the uh, response, uh, you know it may be an acceleration or it may be it is a displacement or it may be a velocity. So uh, you know the uh, uh, this response spectrum uh, 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 will be uh, using the uh, you know the a model shape you know the response spectrum uses the model shape in order to plot the response spectrum curve here uh, suppose uh, if this is you know a response spectrum curve so this uh, response curve shows the maximum or the extreme responses of the structure uh, against the seismic action here suppose if for example if we take this point you know this is it may be the you know the mode one you know the response the maximum responses of the mode one or this may be the maximum responses of the mode two this may be the mode two i mean sorry this one or this may be you know the maximum responses of mode three and this may be the maximum responses of mode 4 and this one is uh, the maximum responses of mode 5 and it is so uh, we may have n number of modes so for n number of modes the etaps will take the maximum responses of every modus and plot uh, on the response curve so this curve what we call this response spectral curve uh, uh, so uh, the, um, the you know when we apply the load uh, the seismic load on a structure so there may be uh, uh, the 
response functions. So that's the response functions. Uh, maybe the acceleration of the displacement or the velocity. So uh, this is uh, uh, the uh, response spectrum curve. So uh, we need to define this uh, response spectrum curve based on the provided uh, ground type and the uh, behavioral factor which uh, we have already defined before. So to do this, now let's go to the default menu and here we have uh, this function that is response spectrum so now we need to use a response spectrum uh, method or a response spectrum analysis uh, uh, in order to get an accurate result so we may uh, use a nonlinear time history analysis or we may use a, 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 a nonlinear that is a pushover analysis but uh, the response analysis is the preferable entity uh, accurate uh, 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 that is uh, the dynamic analysis on our collective one. So here, uh, uh, this is uh, you know the response spectral function. So we need to select euro code because I'm gonna be uh, 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 using the euro code. So here, uh, just select euro code from the list that is euro code. 8 or that is your code 8 2004 or your code 8 so you just you can say select one of uh, one of uh, them and also here uh, uh, so we need to modify the aspect i'm sorry uh, so uh, here uh, we need to add new uh, uh, function so this is a response spectrum response spectrum so here uh, this is you know the damping ratio as we have already previously uh, uh, discussed we need to use uh, the damping ratio which is five percent from concrete structure uh, so uh, the country is uh, we can take out uh, as it is and the direction is it is horizontal uh, because you know uh, we are defining the horizontal seismic action uh, because the, the location of our site is under seismic zone 3, which has respect at the, the ratio of the bedrock acceleration to that of the gravitational acceleration, it is 0 0.1. If the, the ratio of the bedrock acceleration to that of the gravitational acceleration exceeds 0 0.25, so we need to consider also the vertical action of seismic so in our case it is sufficient to consider only the horizontal action so the direction is it is horizontal and the ground acceleration h over g it is 0 0.1 we have already defined it before and the spectrum type it is 2 and the ground type it is b and the wave factor c it automatically uh, uh, it is automatically taken from the provided uh, parameter which is provided above and the spectrum type tb you know tb tc tt uh, are all those are uh, the parameter uh, which are automatically calculated based on the provided ground type uh, and the spectrum type as well as the bedrock acceleration to that of the gravitational acceleration ratio so uh, here uh, now let's uh, say something about tb tc tt so uh, tb you know this is ta this point is the point where the uh, the response curve starts what you call it is a point a that is ta this is ta and this point this point is what you call it is tb point tb this point is it is tb the point where the this line in this and this line starts so and this one is this tc and here we have uh, this line this uh, what you call it is td and here this line what you call it is t just like this or uh, because this is a linear this is a linear line uh, so uh, corresponding to all this point we have the time period t here 
this is the time period t and this is the acceleration so uh, uh, if we take uh, you know this is tp is you know this one this point so if we put the cursor at this point so the value which is uh, 0 0.05 second uh, around here is shown clearly no? and tc that is 0 0.25 this one this one that is 0 0.25 just like this uh, this is the function point this is the parent and this is the acceleration so this response spectral curve is drawn based on those function points and here the behavior factor uh, sorry continue response spectral One, and this is the spectrum type 2 and the behavior factor we have already defined this it is 2.4 so here if you put if you put the line here if you put the line so uh, you know here the coordinate is displayed here check so like this it's just like this and if you put at C, that is 0 0.25 and 0 0.16, 0 0.16. So this is either power of three. Just if you put this one, just you 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 can read the coordinate here. This is TC. So 0 0.25. TC is it is 0 0.25. Just 0. 5 and 168.55 is in the acceleration just like this so here all this all this are you know this curve is uh, this curve is you know showing the kick or the maximum responses of uh, every modes so uh, here, uh, this is if we if we want to convert it to user defined, so we can click this one. But for the time being, I don't need this one. And this is the plot function it's in x and y direction. That is, this is y direction defines in x direction. Let's click. Okay. So now click. Okay. So this is the definition of the response spectral curve. So, uh, in the next tutorial, I will try to show you how to define the modal case uh, based on uh, the uh, uh, previously provided logic pattern. And also, I will try to show you the uh, definition of uh, uh, the uh, mass source uh, based on the uh, uh, defined uh, logic uh, pattern uh, so uh, uh, if you like uh, this video don't forget uh, uh, subscribe my channel if you subscribe my channel you will be getting uh, the uh, next uh, uh, tutorials uh, and if you like also my channel don't forget uh, sharing uh, to your uh, 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 friends and also, if you have comments regarding the two, the structure design of buildings and the structures, you are always welcome. And uh, and you can uh, give me also comments in my comment box so that I can try to answer your questions. So uh, uh, there are uh, lots of tutorials which will be uh, uploaded uh, later. So to get this uh, uploaded uh, uh, tutorials, uh, try to press the bell like so uh, this is all about the tutorial part number uh, nine uh, which uh, uh, has been focusing on the uh, definition of the response spectra bye bye